Good morning. Long time no see, family. Um, just try to be as brief as I can. I'm just getting off work, so I'm not going to try to be on here too long. But I had a dream uh, last night or the other night um, that I believe it came from the Most High as my other dreams. But it's regarding the uh, COVID test. And in my dream, um, I woke up from that dream like, I believe this dream. I, it makes sense. So let me say what it is before I go off into a tangent. But I was dreaming that they were making people sick through the COVID test. Yeah, they were making people sick. In my dream, it was stated that they were making people sick through the COVID test. And when you think about it, it makes sense because think about all the droves of people, the plethora of people simultaneously they they announce are sick are positive you know or going into quarantine or whatever the case may be like thousands at one time how 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 just how you know I really believe that dream is true and they're rigging certain tests to make it happen like that so when I woke up from that dream I was like yeah that makes a whole lot of sense and and then what happens once they infect people with these rigged tests they count on those sick people passing it to others making others sick the sick making others sick those that perhaps not have not taken the nasal test they're going to get it one way or the other because they're either you know their immune system is not strong or whatever some other you know maybe spiritually they're not up to par or whatever and covered but It makes sense to me. What do you guys think? I mean, because I know people, you know, have lost loved ones from this um, ordeal, but, you know, I'm not, of course, I'm never knocking that, but it makes sense to me. I believe that's how they're doing it. I, and for the simple fact, when I t share with you guys on my other video that they try to lie and say to me that I was asymptomatic when it first came out and I had no symptoms I have not been sick nobody in my family has suffered from this this mess and um, I just didn't believe it I wasn't accepting it and um, I wasn't gonna let man tell me I was sick and and you know and that's where we got to get people we can't trust man we can't believe their report whose report will you believe as it says in isaiah i will re i will believe the report of the lord and when they came with to me with that news i i casted it down i was not receiving that i didn't care who said it i got a call from the public health telling me i was positive i was like huh? yeah right I said that's a lie flat out said it to them but it was they were standing in my face I would have told them to their faces that's a lie and that's how you have to look at the devil Satan like the liar he is the father of lies devil you a liar the devil is a liar so I don't care they they can say whatever to me do whatever I'm not taking that um, that jab not taking it um because that's that's 
all what this is about right now. They want folk to take their jab. And for what? When now people are dying and still catching um, supposedly the COVID, still catching it after the vax and people are lately this latest statistic are dying poor man um, hawaii in hawaii saw an article he was in tears it was in the precinct of as a firefighter for over 20 years him and his colleagues and they're torn between having to keep their job uh, losing their job or taking the jab and you know that he just thought it was just the, just the worst and it is because that's I mean that's sad it's tragic and he was just crying like a baby and his attorney their attorney because they're fighting it but their attorney the in the article it was captioned 45,000 folk have died from the jab that's why the guy said you know no I don't want I don't know what that stuff you're putting in me I don't want that and, and he's like, I have been dedicated, I've dedicated my life and, you know, risked my life to, you know, do, do this career. And now they're coming with this. And some of you may have seen the article or the video, but it's really sad just to watch that grown man crying like that. It felt so bad. But that's, it's a lot of people who already lose their jobs. Because that, I mean, it's protesters in, in a few hospitals here in my city that are fighting that mandate and i know across other states they're fighting it at these hospitals and i hear biden just uh um signed off on the mandate for the long-term care places so you know hey i work for agency in these places and so so i travel around locally but hey I don't care if I have to lose my job and be out here like the birds. That's what I'm going to do before I do some crazy stuff, put something in my body. Not doing it. I'm not doing it. Period. If I have to lose my home, if I have to lose my job, my 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 money, it ain't no uh-uh cuz I know this is all with it. This is all going. This is all leading to the market of beast, y'all. This is all set. The stage is set. The stage is set. The Antichrist is soon about to take his platform. He was revealed several years ago. And people take that scripture out of context. The scripture about, you know, that day will not come until the falling away um, happens first. And that man of sin, the son of perdition, is revealed. Not People take that re word revealed as to mean to, sh to show, to see. No, that reveal means to be enlightened, to know. And I truly believe the Holy Spirit dropped it in my spirit back in 2009 who it is. I shared this before. And several years later, I asked for a confirmation. He gave me a dream and it said it right specifically. He said it in, in my dream who he is. I was sitting at the table with Satan in my dream and he told me I am the Antichrist now I run into this TikTok video the other day of a compilation of people all nationalities strangers all across the globe several people saying the same thing who it is can't make this up and the Holy Spirit is speaking to his people. He's revealing. That's what revelation is. That's what revealing is. And he's revealing it to those truly connected to him. And um, now they're, and we're warning the people. And it's a lot of people don't want to receive who this Antichrist is. They don't want to hear it. Don't get no response. From people when you hear that like sharing it on Facebook shared it not one comment not one agreement not one like not not even a hatred emoji they 
Ain't nobody saying touching it because of who it is. They don't want to receive it. That's why I'm saying we have to have discernment, y'all. It's tragic that so many saints are behind the A ball with Bible prophecy to the point they don't realize we are so much further along in Bible prophecy, man. It's just not funny. We are in the last of the last days. We are literally living in the book of Revelation, y'all. And a lot of saints can't see it. Because if they, if they knew where we were, they wouldn't have taken that jab. They wouldn't have taken that jab. I'm sorry for those of you who have taken it. My heart goes out to you. But not one morsel of food, shelter, money, I'm not taking it. Because it's just, like I said, it's all a precursor and first stage to the mark of the beast. I believe this is all going into that. And, um, I, like I said, I'll be out here like the birds. And the Most High, he they ain't they don't have no worry, and the Most High has the, has them. So how much more is he gonna have his 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 children that are made in his image? He got them, he got us. I'm not worried. I'm not fearing because that's all this has been about anyway. To it, they just inciting fear to incite fear, and they're doing they're doing a good job of it. Cause it is so it is tragic how so many people are in are walking in fear and that's you know why it's it's a bad fear is a bad thing the most high can't stand it because revelation 21 and 8 the very first word word in that verse is the fearful and everything that follows after that the ultimate consequence of those things in that verse it's the lake of fire, the eternal lake of fire. So we can't fear, brothers and sisters, we can't fear. Not as the most highest children. The devil is a liar. We can't fear. I don't care if you they about to put a gun to your head or cut your head off. We cannot fear. He says um, to live as Christ and to die as gain. He says, whoever tries to, whoever loses their life, no, whoever, um, what's that scripture? Y'all know what I'm trying to say, some of you. Whoever shall lose their life, whoever tries to find their life will lose it. And whoever loses their life from his sake will find it. And he also says, don't fear man who can kill the body. But fear the Most High who can kill both body and soul to hell. So we fearing the wrong one. You know, we ain't supposed to be fearing our, our, our human, other human counterparts. We only supposed to fear and reverence the Most High. Not another human being and what they can do to us. And we should, we're not supposed to have no fear, y'all. It's a trick one of Satan's biggest tricks because he knows you can you you'll end up in hell for eternity with him if you have fear so can't do it you can't do it you can't be afraid of COVID you can't be afraid of whatever out here because it's worse coming Y'all think it's bad now? Man, we ain't seen nothing yet. Don't get left behind. That's why I believe how close the most high is. Because, you know, now they're talking about UFOs and aliens so much now. It ain't funny. The Travel Channel, boy, they, they have a field day with that. Um, those kind of channels like that. Discovery, all that they 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 having a feels that even the news bringing up spotting aliens and stuff and UFOs because they Satan knows his time is short. He knows the Bible more than a lot of saints. 
He knows the Most High Yeshua, Jesus the Christ, Yeshua Hamashiach is on his way for his children, his remnant, his true remnant. Satan knows that just nobody knows exactly when, but Satan knows the Most High on his way. Revelation 12, 12 says he knows his time is short, so now he got influencing powers that be to talk about aliens now. There used to be classified information, used to be taboo to talk about. Now that's all they talk about. You know why? Because when the rapture happens, guess what they're going to say? The big headlines. Aliens abduct millions of Christians. UFO spotted grabbing Christians. And they're going to be like, well, all of them would have. What does all those dis who disappear have in common? They were all Christians. And so the aliens had to have taken them. Because how? what, is that, what else makes sense? Nothing else makes sense. You can't, people just don't disappear. And, you know, so yeah, yeah, they're gonna be saying all kind of stuff when they come when the most high come get us. But I'm telling you now, the devil is a liar. We might be in another, we'll be in another planet, all right. We'll be in planet heaven. We ain't gonna be dead, we ain't gonna be nowhere killed and dead from aliens killing us when they when we raptured out of here either. It's all kind of lies Satan already got set up. That's why right now he he's programming people, desensitizing people to get programmed with this UFO and alien talk and agenda. Everything's an agenda. And so that's why you have to have discernment. The Holy Spirit in John 16, 13, I always say the Holy Spirit Spirit will lead us into all truth and show us things to come. Things that ain't even happened yet. The Holy Spirit, if you have him living in you, he's going to show you. I don't care how far-fetched far the sound and off the wall and to the left field and crazy it may sound. Because I know they thought back then Noah was nuts when he was walking in obedience. But he didn't care. He still walked in obedience and completed his mission and was saved and was spared. That was the remnant back then. And that dispensation was Noah and his family. That was a remnant. Lot and his crew was a remnant. He's about to come get his remnant again and spare his remnant again from the worst to come Matthew 24 21 tells us that and there's going to be some tribulation lots of tribulation saints left here because they're not operating and walking in obedience to the most high in his word they're not keeping all his commandments which is the whole duty of man is to keep the ten commandments keep his commandments or whatever the commandments he tells us outside of the ten that's scripture. If you don't know, if you think you missing something in the Ten Commandments, go back and, and refresh in your memory on, on the Ten Commandments and see, go down each one and see if you're following every one of them. And if you are missing just one, he said you're guilty of them all. That's scripture. That's word. We gotta love the most high with every fiber of our being. And we have to love each other. As we will love ourselves. We have to forgive. We have to repent from sin. Acts 3.19 He said he only gonna give the Holy Ghost to those who obey. That's the only way we gonna make it. We have to be filled with his Holy Spirit. Because if you're obeying... He can trust you and he's going to fill you and, and, and he's going to give you the strength to do what you need to do to make it. But 
but that dream, I'm telling y'all, The, the nasal swabs, you might want to start taking the antibody test, which, which is the blood test. Get it from your doctor. Be costly because they keep trying to get those because the easiest way is the nasal swab because those are right on the spot on at your no, typically, normally at your jobs. They offer them. The blood tests cost more. And they're not doing those, so you 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 would wonder. Makes you wonder why not do the blood test? Why you got to do the nasal swab? Blood test would be even more accurate, and it will show that you never even been in contact with it. So they don't want to do that because that's too much like right. <laughs> all right, y'all. That's all I came on here for. I went over a little bit more than I wanted to, but um, be sober, be vigilant. There's our adversary Satan is seeking, walking to and fro like a lion, seeking who he may devour. Don't let it be you. Godspeed, God bless.